after retiring from unit. How did that come about? Well, as much as I tried to argue with Geneva, I had realized finally that uh, Tempest had futured, so to speak. Lieutenant Sullivan had gone undercover at Porton Down. Benton decided to become a car salesman. <laughs> now that's a surprise. While Yates had gone to the South Coast to try and change the world by entering politics. The old team was gone. I kept hoping the doctor might show up again, but uh, he seemed to have forgotten about us as well. Time for the old order to make way for the new. So I retired. Tell me about the doctor. Well, unless you've signed the Official Secrets Act, which I very much doubt that you have, I cannot talk about the doctor. Tell me what happened after you left the unit. Well, much to my embarrassment, I was awarded the CBE. Unit, of course, was very hush-hush, and so the citation merely referred to unspecified services to the Crown. It was a great day for me and my family. Kate and Gordon came to the palace, and we had a wonderful day. I was then, of course, divorced from my first wife. So how did the teaching come about? Well, uh, an old chum of mine from the army, from the regular army, had retired a few years before I did and taken up a post here teaching English. He also had something to do with the cadet initiative at the school. Well, he asked me to lend a hand. One thing led to another. Before I knew it, I ended up in the maths department. So did you ever think you'd become a maths teacher? Well, as I think I once remarked to someone else some time ago, I know how many beans make five. I gather from some of your ex-colleagues that you had a spot of trouble in the late 70s. Yes, 1977, to be precise. I was found over there by the obelisk. I'd apparently taken a bit of a tumble. Uh, things had got a bit down, I found, and I had a, well, I'd well, I wouldn't call it exactly a breakdown, but certain memories simply just eluded me. Mind you, it didn't stop me working. It takes more than that to stop a Lethbridge Stewart. So how did you come to recapture your lost memories? Well, it's funny you should ask me that. It was in the summer turn of 1983. That wretched boy Turlow had taken my car and crashed it. And then suddenly, completely out of thin air, the doctor appeared. He was a very special sort of chap, and uh, he managed to help clear the air. That I will say for him. So, bring us up to date, Brigadier. <clears throat> How long did you stay at Brendan? 1977 to 1984. I make that seven years. And then, in 1989,